Hi, this video is on voltage dividers and we're just going to explain pretty much what they are in this. This is just an intro. So uh, what's, a vo what's, a, what's a current divider? A current divider is, is some circuit that takes this current and just splits it up into different currents. Like this is one current, this is a second current, and this is a third current. And uh, here I just drew the circuit in parallel. But what it effectively does is you'll have some resistance here some resistance here, uh, and these will be different uh, resistances. They don't have to be, but they usually are. And that's that's how you're going to get a different amount of current going through each one of these branches. And then what people usually want is they'll want like a certain amount of current in this branch. So what they'll do is they'll just plug into it here on here. Uh, and what 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 happens is that they'll take this current, they'll run it into some load or something, and then they'll just run it right back. So that's that's how it works. And they have the the current that they want, and that's how. Because if you have like if this is like just for an example, if this is like a uh, hundred amps, and let's say you have this one uh, power supply, well, and you want to run like different things. So in a car, you'll have a car battery right here, and you'll have the the headlights, and you'll have the engine, and uh, or the spark plugs or the distributor, something like that. And each one of them will have a different amount of current that they could use. So for instance. Like let's say that this is the starter and that uses 50 amps, so the 50 amps will run through here. And this is like the headlights, and they only use maybe one or two amps, so they'll this will be a much greater resistance here to, to allow less current to flow through there. And this will be I don't know like the lights on the interior of the car, so this will be you know another one amp or something like that. So, but I mean they'll all add up to 100 amps. But what I mean is they'll have different res resistances on it and they'll just split it up this way that way you you get the, the current that you want at each at each one and you know you could still have this 100 amps over here and you just you, you split up the current that's uh, that's the point of a current uh, divider and you might see them written a, different, a little bit differently so here I, I wrote it the exact same circuit just written differently and and here you'll see that there's a, a common ground and it's it's exactly the same thing. It's all the current is just going to meet back up and go back into the voltage supply, and that's that's what this is what will happen with this one as well. It just doesn't it doesn't have the connection to the battery, but that's that's how they are. They'll just call this like a common ground. So you have the total current coming in, and then it'll go it'll branch off into different branches, and then they'll just use the current that they need that way. So that's basically what a current divider is. And in the next video, I'll just be working on some problems to show you how how you work them out. Alright, so I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it, and uh, good luck in your classes.